The Kremlin is increasing its propaganda rhetoric against the backdrop of the so-called presidential elections in Russia. It is known that units of the Federal Service of the State Guard troops and spies from Russian intelligence were involved in Operation Perun. Ukrainian intelligence reports that Russia is preparing a number of operations. Among them are discrediting and accusing Ukrainian and Western pro-Ukrainian politicians of corruption, justifying Russian aggression against Ukraine, creating an image of so-called Ukrainian Nazis in the Russian and European media sphere. The spread of disinformation in the media about the supposed normalization of life in the Ukrainian territories occupied by the Russian Federation with the direct participation of the Russian leadership in this. According to the Kremlin's training manual, propagandists must use both old and recently invented fake narratives, allegedly about planning a coup in Kyiv, accusing Ukraine of starting hostilities in Donbass, the mass murder of pro-Russian activists in Odessa, etc. From a message by the main directorate of intelligence of the MOD of Ukraine on Telegram. The peak phase of Perun is scheduled for the so-called presidential elections in Russia. The operation is planned to be completed by June the 30th, Ukrainian intelligence reports. Russia has never stopped the information war against Ukraine and it has been waging it for quite a long time, with different successes and stages of intensity. So I do not see anything new in this case, specifically in this mini-operation Perun. The goal is to continue to introduce Ukrainian and Western society into a stage of war fatigue, thereby destroying the unity of both the Western coalition and within Ukraine, to continue to generate meanings and narratives, concepts that demotivate Ukrainians. The goals of the Kremlin propaganda today are clear, experts say. Therefore, European countries and the United States are conducting massive inspections of Russian publications and embassies. Thus, Austria has declared two Russian diplomats undesirable persons, and they must leave the country by March 19th. Two diplomats from the Russian embassy have acted in a manner that is incompatible with their diplomatic status. From a message from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Austria, Reuters quotes. As for the Russian population, Putin has different goals here. It is important for him to create an illusion of legitimacy of the war against Ukraine. In this way, he counts on the approval of citizens for his goals to scale up the war, as well as to begin a new phase of mobilization. A demonstration of the strength and confidence of the Federal Security Service as one of the main strongholds of Putin's power, so that locals inside the country understand that dexterity has not been lost. I want to say that most of these operations are recorded by the Russians on paper, because colossal budget funds are allocated for them. However, no matter how the Kremlin financially invests in Russian propaganda, in recent years its influence has become increasingly unsuccessful, both in Ukraine and the West, experts emphasize, which they will surely, desperately want to restore. Reported by Yulia Hranovska, Pavostermach, UATV News.